Hello all, welcome to Red Capture. Myself Vishal Bulbuli, and in this video, we are going to see how we can create our first uh, GCP virtual machine, or we also call it as a GCE instance, that is a Google Compute Engine instance. So first, I'll go to my uh, Google Cloud console. So I assume you already have your Google Cloud account. If not, you can create uh, your free trial account. So I'll just show you how we can create a free trial account. You can simply type a GCP free tier account and you will see this 90 day free trial so you can click on this try google cloud for a free okay so here it will ask you for details we have to choose your country and now you could see uh, this is a good news that credits earlier this credit was 300 now it's increased to 400 so you will receive this credit within 24 hours of a completion setup so that's just a suggestion they are mentioning for you kind of offer and you can just uh, mention here if it is your startup company or what kind of you can simply put others and you can click on continue and you have to mention your credit card details here they won't charge you they will just charge you uh, two rupees so here you have to mention your business name and your card details so once you put a card detail they will send you one time password to your mobile and you have to enter your one time password and they'll just charge you two rupees for a confirmation and they will just credit back within a couple of days so that's the process for creating a free trial account so now I'll go back again to a virtual machine page here. So in Cloud Console to create a virtual machine, you can go to this menu, navigation menu, and from here you can click on Compute Engine. So I clicked on Compute Engine, this page will open. So I already have one virtual machine created here for my personal use. So I'll just create a new virtual machine. So at the top, you could see this Create Instance. So just you can click on this Create Instance. So now just take example of when you go to buy your own laptop. So what all things you will check for buying laptop. You will just check for RAM. You will check for operating system. You check for CPU. So the same specification we have to provide while creating a virtual machine. So here suppose I have to create. I will just give the name. So name I will just give a demo. Now the region and zone, so while you are creating a cloud resources, any cloud resources, you have to spe specify the zone and region. So we already seen what is regions and zone in our previous video. So you can choose a nearest location, but for this demo, I'll just choose US central one because it is the cheaper one. So you could see your pricing is also based on your regions and zones you are choosing. Now here you could see uh, the total is $25 if i am choosing the us central one so let me choose uh, south america east one and we'll see the pricing okay now pricing is 40. so your pricing will change based on your location so i'll just choose the lowest let's like us central one because for this demo this will be cheaper for me and as i was talking about the cpu and ram so it is just you can configure in machine configuration so here you just choose a series so there is different type of cpu series available you can check in google cloud documentation so we'll choose the basic one so here you can choose a c2 n2 n2d so you can find the uh, specification on google cloud doc documentation and i will just choose e2 micro which is the smallest one okay so it contains two cpu and one gb of memory so your pricing you could see now reduced to seven dollar that is for month now suppose if I go for more, I will go for 2 GB, a pricing will increase. Now the pricing is $13. So the more you a powerful compute engine you will choose, the more you have to pay for it. Now that's it for a machine configuration. Now I have to choose a buddhi. So what kind of virtual machines operating system i want if i want a debian or a windows or any kind of so i'll just choose a linux debian one which is default and at the boot disk size i'll keep a 10 gb here so you can specify whatever you want 
and this service account and all these things i am not keep choosing anything customized i will keep everything as a default so here you have option to choose your network so once you start working on vpc you can create your vpc network and create your virtual machine inside your vpc network but for now it will take a default if you haven't created any network or you haven't specified any network so here if you see i have option to choose a different application vpc or windows demo network but i will choose a default network and i'll just go and create your virtual machine is being created it will take few seconds to start your virtual machine instance is up and running so here you could see the name is demo zone we specified us central 1c this is your internal ip this is your external ip so you'll see in detail about what is internal ip and what is external ip in detail in, in this another video and here is option ssh so you can simply click on this ssh and you can log in into the virtual machine but for login you should have a firewall in place in your vpc so you can see a different video uh, in my playlist for creating firewalls creating a virtual private cloud and a subnets so in this video we are just seeing how we can create a virtual machine in gcp and we are not going in much details on all the parameters inside your virtual machine so that's it how we can create a linux virtual machine in gcp now now we'll just uh, install a simple apache web server on this uh, virtual machine i'll just expand this so we'll just log in as a sudo first okay and now we'll just update the packages so it will just update the packages in this debian virtual machine and now i'll just install apache Okay, Apache is installed now. We'll see if it will show anything on the external IP. So I'll just use this external IP and try to check in browser. Okay, so it is showing this Apache Debian page because we didn't include it in our HTML page. So what it is saying, you should replace this file at where www.html.html before continuing to operate HTTP server. So we'll just go to this path. and we'll see here so here we'll have index.html so i'll just update this index.html with my code so i'll just uh, remove whatever is available here and i'll paste my html code in this okay, i'll remove this So I'll replace this index.html with my HTML code. So first I'll remove this index.html and I'll create new index.html here. And I'll code, I'll update the code which I have for my simple web application. So I'll just update that code.
and I'll save it. Okay, and now let me refresh this web page. Okay, now you could see uh, this is my simple web application. 